A very good evening to all. It's time for children's bedtime tragedy with Let Emotion Speak. Don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel for children's bedtime story each night. Today's story is about Rupanzal. There once lived a man and his wife who had long wished for a child. At last, the wish was granted and the wife found that she was expecting a baby. At the back of their house was a garden that was filled with the most beautiful flowers and herbs. However, the man and his wife did not dare enter the garden, for it was owned by a wicked witch of whom everyone was scared. One day, when the woman was standing by her window, looking down into the garden, she saw a flower bed full of the prettiest Rapunzel plants she had ever seen. They looked so fresh and green that she felt a great craving to eat some of them. Day after day, she would sit by her window, staring at the Rapunzel plants for hours on end. Eventually, she became quite pale and miserable. What's wrong, my dear? said her husband. I must have some of that Rapunzel, she replied, or I may die. The poor husband decided that only one thing to do was to steal into the witch's garden at night and take some of the plants. Late one night, the man climbed high wall that surrounded the garden and hastily snatched a bunch of Rapunzel plants and made off with them. His wife was delighted. She made a salad of them that was so delicious that the next day she said to her husband, I must have more of that delicious Rapunzel. So that night, the husband stole once more into the witch's garden. Imagine his horror when he dropped onto the grass to find the witch there lying in wait for him. How dare you come into my garden and steal my Rapunzel plants? She shrieked, you will live to regret this. Please have mercy on me, begged the man. I am not really a thief. I came to help my wife, who was expecting her first child. She told me she would die if she didn't have some of your Rapunzel to eat. Then the witch changed her tune. By all means, she said, take as much as you like. But in exchange, you must give me the baby when it is born. Don't worry, I will care for it as if I were its mother. What do you say? The man was so terrified that he hastily agreed to what the witch had said. When his wife gave birth to a baby girl, the witch immediately appeared to take the child. The witch named her Rupanzel after the plants that had caused all the trouble and took the child away with her. Rapunzel grew very beautiful, strong and healthy with long golden hair that fell past her waist. When she was 12 years old, the witch locked her away at the top of a tower in the middle of a forest. The tower had neither stairs nor a door, but only one window at the top so that nobody but the witch could reach her. Each day when the witch visited her, she would stand below the girl's window and call out, Rupanzel, Rupanzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stair. Then the girl would wind her long tresses around the window hook and lower her hair all the way to the ground. The witch would climb up it as if it were a ladder. In this way, Rupanzel's lonely life went on for several years. One day, a young prince was riding in the forest when he heard a sweet voice. It was Rapunzel singing to herself. The prince was so entranced that he followed the sound and came upon the tower. But, but when he could find no way in, he became discouraged and rode home. Rapunzel's lovely voice had stirred his heart so deeply, however, that he returned day after day to hear her singing. 
One day, as he stood behind a tree, he saw the witch appear and heard her calling, Rupunzel, Rupunzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stair. Then he saw a mass of golden hair tumble down and watched the witch climb up to it, the window. Is that the way up? thought the prince. Then I will climb the golden ladder too. The next day around dusk, the prince went to the tower and called, Rupunzel, Rupunzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stair. Immediately, the tresses fell down and the prince climbed up. At first sight of the prince, Rapunzel was afraid, but the prince addressed her in such a friendly way that she knew she could trust him. Once I heard your voice, said the prince. I couldn't resist until I saw you. Now I cannot rest until you agree to marry me. Rapunzel by now had fallen truly in love with the young man, so she willingly accepted. I wish I could come away with you said Rapunzel. You might bring some silk with you each time you visit and I shall weave a ladder of silk and then I will be able to escape. Each day the witch visited Rapunzel and each night the prince came. The witch suspected nothing until one day Rapunzel forgot herself and said to the witch, Why are you so much heavier to pull up than that prince? Oh, treacherous girl! screamed the witch. You have deceived me. She snatched up a pair of scissors and cut off all Rapunzel's lovely hair. Then the witch drove Rapunzel from the tower and left her in a wild and desolate place to fend for herself as best as she could. That night along came the prince to the tower and said as usual, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stair. But the witch was lying in wait. She tied Rapunzel's hair to the window hook and let the golden tresses fall to the ground. Up climbed the prince full of joy as always. But when he stepped in through the window, it was not his beautiful Rapunzel that met his gaze, but the icy glare of the witch. Aha! cried the witch with a sneer. So you thought you could steal my girl, did you? Well, she's gone and you will never set your eyes on her again. Beside himself with grief, the prince threw himself from the tower and would have died had he not landed in the thickest thorn bushes. Although he survived, the thorns pierced his eyes and blinded him. For many years he wandered through the wilderness, grieving for his lost Rapunzel and living on whatever he could find to eat. Eventually, he wandered into the same part of the wilderness where Rapunzel lived with the twins she had borne. Just as he had done so many years ago, the prince heard a sweet voice coming through the trees. He made his way towards the sound of the voice. Suddenly, Rapunzel saw him and straight away she recognized him. She ran to him and threw her arms around him weeping. As she wept tears of joy and sorrow, two teardrops fell into his eyes, healing them and restoring his sight. Then the two were united again and the prince took Rapunzel and their children back to his own kingdom and they all lived happily ever after. So kids, how did you like the story? Do tell me in the comments below. And always remember to be your hero. Never wait for a prince to rescue you. You are the knight on the horse. Always remember, you are strong and brave. It's time to add something interesting to the memory box. IQ time with Let Emotions Speak. Do you know the largest land animal in the world is the African elephant? And the baby of an elephant is not called a baby Ellie, it is called a calf. Elephants are considered to be the wisest animals. They have big long ears, a big long trunk which has over 10,000 muscles in it. The sound made by an elephant is called a trumpet and he loves to eat bananas and sugar cane. Can you imagine he is so big and he only eats grass, bananas and sugar cane? Amazing no? 
See you tomorrow with another great story. Good night.